I've got more notes. I need liposuction. Shit. See? <laughs> Look at my tummy. Yeah? I'm just more aware of your balls. It's not <laughs> my <laughs> balls? No, it's so flat. It's flat, huh? Uh, I mean, told him I'm, to shut I'm like, up. I'm so <laughs> face on the camera. Like, my first episode, you could see most of my shoe, right? <laughs> now you're seeing, like. Yeah. Okay, ready, yes? Uh, uh, this wait, 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 sorry, sorry. This stream. Okay. Uh, Fuck, I got so many points. Brick. I got like 20 points. My first point these bricks, but at least I have bricks. Yeah, you can't swear, okay? Just say. Yeah, no no swearing and no. Because um, the bleeping is a lot of effort, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Hey, okay, yeah. no sponsor, huh? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of The Bike Sitters, where we talk about. Bikes, I guess. <laughs> well, we sit a lot and my ass yeah, hurts. Yeah. We've, we've been sitting here filming a couple of episodes. As you can see now, it's completely pitch black at the back. Um, anyway, we are here joined with our guest, uh, repeat guest. He has been here for, I think, was it the two episodes you were here? In the third one. Can't get rid of me that easy. Yeah, Sean. I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying uh, Sean's conversation with us. And as, uh, we have Caleb and JD. You want to open your drink? Thirsty, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. Int no introductions needed for no, Caleb yeah, and yeah, I. Yeah, yeah. We're already yeah. staples. Uh, you, you must have been very thirsty earlier, so yeah. Red Bull, <laughs> so, Red Bull, man. We, I, I, please sponsor us because we need energy. Like we, you know, filming four days straight. <laughs> Actually, it's we, not really four days, just in the same day. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, I had too many Red Bulls. That's why. Okay, guys. Uh, so today's oh man, I'm a bit soft. Just let me test one, two, three, four. Okay. So today's uh, topic is about. Uh, God, what is it? This versus rim. Oh man. Uh, oh, heated versus, debate in all versus. my interviews, it's always there. This versus rim, blah, yeah, blah, blah. I know, man. Uh, as a disclaimer, I've written, I started off with rim and then I got into disc. Now I want to go back to rim. I'll, I'll, I'll save that for a bit later. But I think all of you guys are on disc, I believe. Anyone not on disc? All disc? We all on disc. Well, it's, it's yeah. quite yeah, obvious since we entered the game like what, one or two years ago, that's when the whole industry moved to disc. So like we were not in that period of time we'd where rims were even an option. <laughs> yeah. You know, we're pretty much now 99% disc. Right. Um, what are your opinions of disc? I, but here's the thing, right? You guys have never ridden rim. Are you guys in favor of riding rim? No, I have ridden rim. My decathlon bike. Oh, really? It was a rim bike? 105 groups that had rims. And I tell you, in the rain, no stopping power. Yeah, that's what everyone on my interview says. And I, and I crashed three or four times on my decathlon bike. Mm. And I tell you, if you ride a lot of East Coast like I do, there's so many. Wait, 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 wait! You crash because of the positions, right? I crashed you because looking, that it, was, it was that. pouring rain, and there was I pushed the thingy, the rim did nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so we are on this. I think uh, let's let's start with Thank our the Lord. let's start with our guest uh, since he's our guest on the show. Yeah, uh, sure. I think he has something to say, Sean. Okay, I'd I'd like to say this. Um, screw these brakes. They are a pain in the bottom. But at least I still have brakes. Are we? Is that yeah, a cue for us to laugh or something? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So because like like yeah. what uh, JD mentioned is that when you when there's wet weather, there's no stopping power. Mm. Yeah. And then I think even when there's dry weather with the brakes, I think what I really like about these brakes is the what do you call it? The modulation. Modulation, modulation, right? The modulation of the brakes. So you don't. It's not on or off. So when mm. I I stop the traffic light, I can mm. slow down and then just stop naturally rather than on rim brakes is. You get uh, actually, we have to be specific. I mean, what is it? Hydraulic disc brake or cable? Let's talk about uh, hydraulic. Hydraulic, think, hydraulic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. not talk okay. about hydraulic. China. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I have not owned a rim brake bike since my Decathlon bike, mm. right? And those were just on or off. So, at, at, like, when I first started cycling about a year back, when I stopped at traffic lights, I was just like, <laughs> "Whoa, that's a big gesture. Off. That's a big <laughs> gesture." Bike every time, right? Because it's either on or off, and it was on like the the, the rims are steel, so it's not even the carbon rims. So when I press the brakes on, it's just like, just like I, it's very just on and off, very grippy. It's mm. just on and off. Mm. Yeah, and then when it's wet, when it's like a bit wet, no you, grip, you got no grip, you can't stop. Yeah, with that said, these brakes are a pain in the butt. They they literally scream at you. That's only if they're con contaminated. Yeah, that's only if they're contaminated. If they're not contaminated. You got good brake pads. It's pretty quiet. But here's the yeah. thing, I think it can also get contaminated if you're riding in wet where there's a bit of oil slick and it gets yeah. into your rotors. Yeah, but that's I'd rather have a squeak than not be able to stop at all. Exactly. And I might hit you know, and hit someone. Mm. So I would rather take the noise over the accident yeah. incident. But don't you think mm. uh, okay, so it's it's a weight penalty again. Ah dude, <laughs> come on. <laughs> How long I'm I'm over this man. <laughs> okay, fine. Now you have your drink, uh, can I you have your chance? Uh Okay, so for like, for the squeaking sound for disc brakes, I mean, if you ride in uh, wet roads, uh, after a while when you brake, especially the rear brake, it will create a 
squeaking sound. But then again, you have to modulate. You have to, how do I say, break it in. You know, the lining of the pads. You have to dry up the the water yeah. on the rotor. Then it will be off. I mean, when it's raining and you break, you do you do hit a squeak first. Yeah, but it, after it really you use it for a while, it's normal. It's, it's normal. It's yeah, and yeah. Even with cars, you get a squeaking sound. Also no, but I don't. I don't road. think squeaking is the problem. It's more of the stopping power. Right? Who cares if yeah, it squeaks? Yeah, but here's no, no. Stopping power is still there. It's still there oh, on this. Yeah, here's the worst yeah, yeah. thing you can do for rim because if you want to run carbon wheels, right, with rim brake, with, with carbon pads. The stopping power is pathetic. Hmm. It's not only that, it will eat It will damage your rim. It literally yeah, eats into your rim. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I'd rather be overtime. damaging my disc on my, on my, and keep right. my carbon yeah, wheels yeah, 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 nice. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So I think disc all the way, especially if you're running carbon wheels. And I think with, with carbon wheels and with rim brakes, when you, actually when you're going downhill and you're braking a lot, when the rims will warp, will warp and when it increase oh. in heat, it can cause tire blowout. It, it can actually damage the carbon. Let's right. be real now. Yeah. It can damage the carbon. Even the tires. Are yeah, and, when, and I read that when there's a lot of heat, Transfer on the like because when you're braking, there's a lot of heat at the side oh, of the yeah, rim. Yeah, the worst thing you could do on the tire to blow out because uh, of the heat increases the air pressure inside between the tire and the. Oh, so that's rim. why yeah. for you, ah, uh, you run one twenty feet. You go down paper. Yeah, with the rim brakes, just <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> so the worst thing you could do on a disc brake would honestly to brake very heavily and then pour cold water over your disc. Hundred percent, it will warp. Yeah. But for me, I've been running disc now for on my Madone for one year plus. Not one. Um, not one misalignment. It's been running true. And, um, you know, even this new Jurex group set, they say they've widened it, right? But I'm still having no issue on the old 11 speed old Tegra. So, in my opinion, rim is old school. <laughs> and disc, you talk about weight penalty. I just don't think that's an issue at all. So, uh, I, uh, as you guys may know, that I'm trying to go back into a rim brake. Reason being, it's oh. a. Wait, wait, wait. Reason being, it's uh, lighter and. Uh, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Is that it? Is no, that no, it? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> and also, the, the fact that the serviceability is much more cumbersome. But I'm not, I'm not disregarding that this sucks because I'm still running a disc brake and I have to stay in modulation, braking power, yada, yada, yada. It's good. But I have bad experiences with disc where. Uh, it gets contaminated and that's an issue and I have to change the rotors, the brake pads and all that. Mm. Don't so you guys think that's an issue? Nah, nah, because you know no. me, I can't change a tire. I just take my bike into servicing, if you're like me, who doesn't work on their own bike, it's not an issue at all. You just take your bike in and uh, uh, honestly, the contamination yeah. thing, I honestly have had no contamination. Mm. I'm not pouring any uh, toxic chemicals on my <laughs> on my pads and I have a disc brake cleaner that you can easily spray on. Does that work? I did it, I did it today, you know, I brought my disc now, you can lick it if you want. And it's completely clean. Like I just cleaned this yesterday. Can you give it a kiss? For can us? you lick it? Yeah, see. Just yeah. lick it. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! And it's dry. It's beautiful. Look at this shit. This is clean. I could eat my dinner off this. First, your jockey wheel. Now this one. You should have cut the pizza with this just now. I just. Oh, this is. By the way, this is a Durace disc. And trust me, you know it's aero. Okay. Yes, there is a little bit of a weight penalty, but again, I'd rather save the outside of my of my rim. Yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, This yeah, is yeah. to me, this is the most expensive part. This is very easily replaced, yeah. and but again, no warping issues. Have you guys heard of issues where you know running rim breaks, the, the carbon actually breaks? Uh, I don't so think the it reaches the carbon. Think it yeah, because when because like going back to the heat thing, where it can cause the tire to blow up. Because when when you're breaking a lot, especially like in countries where you're going a lot downhill, you do, you do a lot of like climbing and downhill, right? When with the heat, I think it cause the carbon where the brake brick treads start to delaminate and essentially just make your wheel into okay. a very big paperweight. And let's be real, if you oh, have to, if you really yeah. want to run rim, my research has shown that the best braking surface is from Zip. They do the best, it's called the Showstopper. And uh, not not just a good name, like bike bikes, <laughs> Showstopper. Not just like yeah. bike sitters, we've got a great name here, but you're really a hype piece, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, okay, and, and another thing is not just not just the performance side of things, but it's about the resale value of your bike. If you right, are not, yeah, yeah. the yeah, average yeah. consumer, I think for safety reasons, would rather have this now. Mm. And if you're selling a bike with rim versus this, I believe the disc will always be worth more. And I think there is, uh, this, I think everyone likes to use this word, the industry, the cycling industry. Yeah. Right? I think it's definitely moving towards disc. Mm. But, no, no, it, dude, it is. The, if you look at all the bikes now, who's, who's selling rim anymore? I think only Pinarello. Yeah, only Pinarello. I think for high-end bikes, it's only Pinarello still doing it. Everyone is yeah. now, no, no one's selling rim anymore. Is anyone in the Pro Peloton running rim? I, I think the last one was the, the Ineos, one, right? Ineos. Ineos, which is Pinarello, yeah. No, then no, they, they oh, them oh, UAE to... also. Okay. For, for climbing stages. Oh, they still, they still rim. Rim. Mm. So it's, it's more of a, a, a lightweight thing then? No, mm. no, no, it's another great benefit of running disc. Now with the rim, uh, you have to take, uh, the frame has to be designed differently. But with disc, you don't have to worry about the, you can actually design the frame how you like it now. 
and not and not have to accommodate the rim um, component. So by running disk, the my Madone frame looks so damn sleek and clean because there is no rim. Hmm. Can we give Ch Caleb a chance? I think he wants sure, to do sure. something. I mean, for a disc or rim, uh, for someone who likes to uh, maintain his bike like me and like Umpa, uh, I think uh, due to his bad experience, maybe he's saying that you know contamination is uh, really a big headache. But when you think about it, uh, because uh, I will discuss further on the next episode for that one. <laughs> what uh, is our next episode? Yeah, what is it? Even I don't know. Oh, oh, PR yes, routine. PR yes, routine. yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. okay. So. It's yeah. Um, I mean, if you if you take care, routinary yeah. Like after ride, you do you do some cleaning. Uh, you inspect the the chewing of the rotor, uh, and you you just watch YouTube. <laughs> let's say let's say if you have a disc scrub, uh, there's two things possible. Two things. One, your rotor is warped. Two is that your piston it did not uh, move back to yeah, its yeah, original yeah. position. Didn't retract. Yeah. yeah, you just, you just uh, remove the brake pads, then you clean your ca uh, the pistons, then you put like a brake silencing paste just to make it like uh, flexible enough to move back to its original place, then this rubbing issue solved. You actually had an issue, you said your, uh, yes, you, yes. Had, you had leaks on your hydraulic brakes. Uh, housing, right? Uh, the leads, last time we wrote. Uh, yeah, but uh, that one is uh, they just rebled everything. Did it seep into your rotors and brake pads? No, no, no. Okay. No. So you're lucky. If it did, then it's gone case, man. Right? Yes. Then I have to buy another rotor. And brake pads. And brake pads. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty confident that discs mm. are better. Um, and you know, I mean, the one big downside I see though is that of course with discs you have to run more spokes. Okay, you have to run uh, standards about 24, 24, mm. and you have a you have to have both crossed and radial, so the so normally you'd run like maybe fourteen, uh, fourteen crossed and seven radial. So the problem is that those radial will not transfer any braking power from the hub to the rim, so only about fourteen will be doing that. So that so you know it, the more spokes you add to your wheel, the less aero it is actually. So that's the only real downside I see. I, I don't think the weight penalty is much a uh, big factor of this mm. i think i think before right uh, in the pro peloton i think uh it matters right when it, when there's a climbing stages they prefer rim uh, because this back then wasn't that you know that light that lightweight it's, it's pretty heavy then the the hydraulic braking i think it come later before i think they use a cable, cable type, actuated, yeah, yeah. actuated which is like rim brake you're operating a which is yeah, hard the modulation. Yeah, is hard, yeah. yeah, it's really hard. So yeah, uh, you mm. want to? You have anything to chip in? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I have a dream. Okay, I have a dream, a big, big dream. So you know, right now we've got wireless group sets, right? But we still have to run the damn hydraulic cables to the frame, right? For the those are the only two yeah. cables now. I want to. I don't know if this is possible. This is a bit of a big brain idea. Can we have wireless disc brakes? <laughs> wireless disc brakes? Yeah. No, no, I, I don't think I don't I, I I think that is possible, right? So it's just Bluetooth communication. I don't know, but right now, uh, I, mean, I mean, there's a motor, just like the motor then of it's the uh, again. Uh, FDRD, right? Just to move, but uh, just actually the piston. But I think. But most of the power comes from the uh, the liquid. No, right? but here's the problem: if you do it do, do it uh, wireless, like how how much modulation would the the, the motor be smart enough to do it, right? <laughs> I mean, I that's, that's, that's I don't know. Know. Okay, <laughs> you press like when you press it, you just suddenly keep <laughs> like that. Hi guys, I'm just a visionary. I'm like Tim Cook. Okay, I just come up with the ideas. Do you want to start a hey, Oompa Loompa wireless? Wait, wait, uh, wait. Tim Cook is not visionary. Steve Jobs is. What He's dead, okay, and I'm still, I'm still here. Okay. What are they talking about? I am, I, you know, I am wearing the Apple colors. Okay, I don't know, I don't know, chip in. Uh, what do you guys think about the uh, four, was it four pistons, like a Hope RX4? They have like ah, four, yeah. port, four port pistons ah, on it. Overkill, yeah. overkill. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Four pistons, what are we, running a car? <laughs> <laughs> We're on a bicycle, man. How much stopping power do you need? But it looks for cool, mountain though. bike, I think it makes ah, sense. It looks cool. Yeah, man. for mountain bike, yeah. yeah you probably yeah. don't need it for. Mm. As I you think said, for bigger rotors, you have more pistons. Uh, let's be real. Sense. Most of the stuff, this whole disc brake thing came from mountain bike. Yes, yes. They probably stole the four piston thing from it as well, right? No, no, the four pistons is for mountain bike, not road ah, okay. bike. The Hope one. Who came up with the crazy bike. idea to bring it over to road cycling? Is that what you're trying to say? or? You know, I've seen people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes in earth, fancy colors, just like your OFP does. If you want that, just go on wish.com and get yourself some open bear ceramic bearings and contaminate that yeah um <laughs> yeah so sorry i'm running out of topics on this i don't know but the main thing is you mm. i mean what's your strongest point against disc brake 
uh, the fact that it's hard to maintain. I I just had bad. I've had bad bad experiences yeah, because okay. of contamination. Uh, you know, people tell you just burn the rotors or burn the brake pads over a uh, fire. Did you get rid of the contamination? It so doesn't work. So it's, once it's contaminated, it's really no, 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 no. Someone told you on, on one of your episodes, um, episode number twenty something, <laughs> that all you need to do is put some alcohol and, and yeah, it'll, it'll get, it'll yeah, get no, rid of no, it. No, 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 it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know. What are you pouring on your brake pads? Some, Where are you going? Some Where? of the drinks that you you gave me, I think it's a bit of. Uh, That's irrelevant. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, I'm drinking the same thing, and I'm fine. Look <laughs> at me. It's, it's, and look, 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 look at, at you this. all over look the place. This. this is done over 10,000 kilometers, and look at this. I can lick it. See that? You can see on the camera. Okay, well, I licked it. I licked it, and it felt cool. Okay, and the biggest thing about this disc thing is about the heat dissipation. That's why we got these cooling pads, right? Yeah. Okay, can cooling I? Fins. Yeah, cooling fins. Yeah, cooling fins, and they do work. They do a great job. No, I, I think the cooling fins on the brake pads is a bit useless and it's gimmicky. Brake pads? You, you ah, know the, like the, the, your yeah, pads yeah, have yeah. that fins? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know man. Yeah, they're they're gimmicky, uh, it's very gimmicky and I think it's a bit But yeah. trust me, this is what you want, okay? This is what you need. Look at this thing. Look how straight that but, is. Look how beautiful that is. By the way, most people are using the new... Uh, what, it's not this is the Oh, the XTR. 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 Why yeah. do you guys run XTR? Is it lighter than the Andre's? It's lighter than the Andre's rotor. But okay, let's be real now. I could have got XTR because a little bit lighter, okay. But I know that weight isn't a big thing. I just love the look of the, yeah, the looks, old. Yeah. Don't you just wait, don't, wait, wait. You Did you agree, just right? say that weight is <laughs> not a big thing, but you don't run bottles? Oh man! Oh man! This you don't bring, bring your phone, man. This is an old. This is an old topic. This is. <laughs> good, I thought we moved on from this <laughs> like three episodes ago. Okay. Uh, I just think disc is fine, and also you should also think about running a light hub, and you're good to go. Okay, and this has done so many thousands of kilometers, no okay. warping, no, no issues. No, I just, I just want to say I've traveled with my bike with one on this, so if you guys are traveling, you need to remove the rotors and don't leave oh, it do, there. Do, do, oh, no, need, no need, no need, no need, no need. No, because if the guy is handling the bike, he smashes oh, it all oh, over oh, the oh, place. Oh, I traveled here tonight with my wheel. Did I have any issues? Dude, no, you're not no, 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 no. Flying, on the plane. On the plane. Uh, because there's this uh, wheel bag that okay. has a it's hard a hard padding, but uh, I know I'm just a bit paranoid, so I normally remove my rotors and keep it. Okay, but, but, but that's that's like a very niche thing. Not everyone's hopping on a plane right now well, and going to to wait, France. Why, why are you such a hater? <laughs> I'm just explaining. I know, I know, I know. All right, okay, yeah, guys, all right, I'm the big bad wolf. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's why you have you have, blood, you have blood stains over here. Hey, yeah. yeah, yeah, this yeah, is tomato yeah. sauce. Okay, I just I ate some pizza. Okay, that's don't bring that up. That's another topic, another day. Okay, um, so yeah, uh, any 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 more? No, I think the point about maintaining these breaks, right? I mean. To clean them, they are very easy. I mean, for me, right? I just, I just have these alcohol wipes that I have at home. I just wipe them out once. Yeah, let's talk about cleaning and yeah. maintaining this. I mean, breaks. Mm. All I do is I just use those wipe alcohol wipes to just wipe down the disc once. All the black, sh black stuff gets transferred mm. over, and then it's mm. clean. That's it. Yeah, but, yeah. and uh, you've had no issues, and I just no use, issues. I use the mark, the 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 disc specific mark off mm. yeah. disc mm. brake cleaner. I just did it last night, and I licked my. I look at my rotor in front of the camera. <laughs> so, so how do you guys do? You just spray over the rotor. Just do, as you, as you clean, you just spray. Yeah, it and you can have to spray. And yes. you actulate the the brake pads, and it yeah. soaks in and gets uh, rid of everything. Do you do you need to run into the, the disc because you just sprayed it? So does it come a bit slippery? Ah, oh, making making so things so many complications. <laughs> it's not as hard as you think it <laughs> is. Okay. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I, I mean, oh, I mean, I you, you two, you two, uh, you done the cleaning way different from mine, okay. because I don't spray directly on the rotor. Oh, okay. So what I do is I remove the wheel, then I have a microfiber cloth. I okay. spray the disc cleaner solution, then I wipe both sides yeah. around. I wipe it. Yeah. So even the fins, I wipe it clean. Then after I spray the disc uh, brake cleaner on the pads, just to uh, how, how often do you do it? After ride, every after ride. Every ride. Wow, I do mine once a week. But can we agree that? Three of us have no issues with no this. Issues. Why, why, no you, issues, why so are you not including me? Because, uh, because you have issues. You have issues. Yeah, yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got two people big, not have any issues, man. Big exactly. issues, okay? <laughs> and he keeps complaining, and I don't know what to do about it. No, that's because I have to represent my viewers represent who are on the ring. My viewers? If not, I'm going to lose stocks here, man. You know what? I think the viewers are on my outside. They know exactly what's up. I, I have a small percentage like Durian Rider. Durian Rider is my hey, number one yo, fan. Yo, Durian I, Rider uh, is number one I, fan I, I on watched Durian Rider, okay? I've heard him complain about this versus Rim for many, many months now. And I'm over it, okay? I'm a real rider. I'm out there on TMCR. <laughs> Durian, Durian, Mr. Durian, 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 I'm calling out Mr. Durian Rider right now. I don't like Durian, by the way. 
I don't like the smell. <laughs> no, durian right? I know, I know, but I'm just saying, even the name triggers me. Because <laughs> I'm not into that bring fruit. out the fruit. Yeah, I'm not, I don't like the smell. <laughs> okay, Durian Rider, if you have anything against, it's against him on my channel. Durian Rider, okay? bring it, man. <laughs> bring it. I'll debate you any... Come on the channel. But you just said you follow Durian and you love his advice. I yeah. have... I don't You're subscribe. You're such a hypocrite. I don't... <laughs> excuse me? Excuse me? I don't subscribe. Okay, oh. I, I subscribe to Umpa. I'm actually a VIP member, okay? Okay? Let's be real now. I like Durian Rider. He's a great guy. Great, great guy. But I don't no, agree. he's a great guy. What's... Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, I think you need to meditate. <laughs> I think you need to meditate. We're getting into yoga. <laughs> oh my god. But this, I do in writing. Don't bring up this just rim thing. Okay, we're not the Peloton. We're not Tour de France riders here. We are at TMCR. We need, we need to break in front of little kitties out there. <laughs> and we don't want to hit them. Could we go to jail? End the story. Thank you. I'm done. <laughs> I, I didn't want to say I, I, I love Durian Rider. I, I watch all Peace, of his man. stuff. Um, Please Rider come on the awesome channel. Guy. I invite Durian Rider to come on the on the podcast. We should we should put Durian Rider in the spot the next I'm time. I'm thinking Durian Rider here, Lance Armstrong, <laughs> Tanish Bogacha, me, whoever. We have to wear a yellow jersey, by the way. Okay, have to wear a yellow jersey and bring your bike too. Can we fit in a yellow jersey? Yeah? I don't think. I don't think so. I don't, I don't, think, don't think, so. think so. I don't know, but I think uh, my points are very clear and very. Are you guys very tired, by the way? You guys are very quiet. Come on, man. No. Stir some shit up with I our friends. Mean, I mean, the we're all on the same side. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. Aside, aside from yeah, you yeah. spewing out hypocritical statements. <laughs> uh. Yo, there's no, no <laughs> slander. <laughs> no slander on the channel. This is slander. And I will not stand for it. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what my, that's what my ex-girlfriend said. And guess where she's at? She's nowhere. She's riding, oh my uh, God. She's riding uh, on the train. Wait, wait, wait. Back, back to the topic. <laughs> So like for this guy, another issue is the warping of the rotor. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah. so so they they think that oh my rotor is uh, misaligned. I mean, warp. I cannot do anything. I cannot repair. How how, how do you even get to that state where your uh, rotors get so warped? So sometimes uh, when you like, because some uh, riders are different. Uh, they use their bike differently. So some are aggressively, you know, like to really press on uh, the brakes. Press on the brakes really yeah. hard. So sometimes when you go downhill, most of the time go downhill, then you slam on the brakes. Yeah. Then you're turning at the same time, it will warp your rotor. Well, yeah, it's because so much, you don't, you don't know this, but there's so mm. much heat going on those discs. And then um, you're turning. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, and yeah. then the worst thing is, it's, it's actually very basic um, chemistry, which I don't know. <laughs> but it's pretty much like something heats up a lot and then cools down. And that, that sort of change in temperature that's what does is the that warping. chemistry? That's, that's physics, I don't know, it? but it's a change in temperature. That's the basics of well, it. What are your opinions on lightweight rotors like Ashima? Huh? Uh, I've never heard of that. Ashima has one of the lightest uh, rotors around. Dude, what are we on about? I mean, I, if you <laughs> if you li if you are building a lightweight bike, it's okay. I mean, okay. If, you want, if you want the lightest option yeah, available, I think yeah. it's yeah. fine. But it's not. I don't think it's as durable as the standard. Hey. It's, it's not warping. It will warp. But it's so thin. But the guy who had Ashima on my channel, he said there's no warping issue. Uh, Caleb, yeah. trust me, your prioritization is probably the cooling, right? You'd rather have better cooling than a little bit 20 grams lighter? Or do you agree? I'd rather be durable. Durable and... The longevity. And, yeah. And better yeah. cooling, right? Would you rather better cooling for the disc? I think cooling is already part of every rotor. Yeah, I know, but some are, you know, you mm. buy off wish.com and you get a real, looks cool. Look what the hell is wish.com? We only use I, yeah. I don't even, I, what is wish.com? <laughs> it's where you get all your black market <laughs> stuff. It's fantasy website. <laughs> no, it's real, it's real. Just like this podcast, it's all real. <laughs> it's just a dream, man. You'll wake up tomorrow. I with, wish it was uh, all a dream. With, with room breaks next to Duran Rider. <laughs> but but, 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 but what, I, what I'm saying earlier is that um, if your rotors are warped, you can still repair them. Well, just do what I did. Just go to the shop and buy new no, ones. Don't, don't this, oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> just, I, just, just do it. You can do it yourself because I. Wait, sorry, my, what are you talking about? I, I lost. I, track. I, I fixed my no warp warping. rotor before. Oh, warping, okay. Yeah. How do you fix it? Cause do you get a hammer and like beat the shit no, out? Not, of not the hammer. I think uh, there's a tool where you can kind of pull. I think it's it an alignment tool. If, or something if you like. don't have that alignment fork, that mm. tool where you put it on the rotor, then you bend it mm. sideways. Depends. You can use a wrench, adjustable yeah, wrench. Yeah, that's what I did last time. Uh, yeah, yeah. So. You just uh, turn your wheel. You, you and you hear the, the part rotor. where it starts heating, right? 
No, 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 not hitting only. You can see the the way your rotor turns, where the bend is. Mm, it starts wavy. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, wavy. Then, then you, you mark it. Yeah, yeah, then you mark But you're gonna say like the industry is already thinking about this. You know, even the new Dura Ace group set, mm. they've uh, increased the width by yeah, what, yeah, 10%. just to avoid, just to avoid exactly. those uh, and, but complaints. Here's the good news. Yeah. I'm on the old 11 speed Otegra. I haven't had one issue. I have not heard my disc any noise, any any misalignment problems. Because you don't go Faber. <laughs> okay, let me ask you this. Do you, know where Mount, do you know where it's Mount Faber? Dude, I climbed it, okay? And I was number four that day on the leaderboard. <laughs> when was that day? That was like maybe... For the day. Four, for the day. I know, okay. For, for the, the day. day. The, all time okay, for plus. the day. But dude, I was riding my beautiful, he, beautiful heavy Madone. <laughs> and I did such a good job. And I was using these wheels. I use, this is the wheel. This is it. This is what made history that can day. So, can someone pull out the Strava and see whether he's still number one? <laughs> Number four. Number, number four, four, number four, 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 four. For the day. I didn't get a bronze medal, one, okay? There was no bronze medal, ago. okay? But I tell you, I went up, Faber. I felt great. <laughs> the position is great. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was the whole package. It's, it's not about that. It's the package. The okay, package. guys, so it's rim breaks dead. Our rim breaks dead. Over. No questions over, except Umpa, he wants to keep the legacy. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I, I think it's, I think it's, there's still room for, there's a, still a market for rim breaks. Would you say Tour de France riders or Peloton, or would you say average consumer? I'm a, average, average consumer. consumer, yeah. I think oh. Pro Peloton would move to this. That's because they are forced to use this. Oh, yeah, yeah, because of UCI. Yeah, because that's a sponsorship, right? No, no, UCI. Oh, you say well. They're, they're, the, they're the big bad wolves. So I think, them. like what Durian says, right? If they were not sponsored, they would all prefer rim. Nah, but that's a speculation. Uh, that's a speculation. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I've never yeah, spoken yeah, to anyone. Where's your also. evidence? Where's the receipt? Yeah, yeah. 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 it's all hearsay. I, I think it still has a place in the market. Like yeah. like what um, Caleb has said. I think it's for some some people who want like the yeah. lightest build possible, or some old school or old school folks or people who like on. Those More classic OG, OG. cyclists, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, let's be real. The rim brakes are, right? are easier to work on, yeah. right? Do you see yes, any, any Pagoretti on disc? Are they on disc? Like those very ancient looking steel bikes? They're all rim, uh, right? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I believe people who, who like likes to ride classic bikes or likes to like re restore mm. and own classic bikes, they will still prefer rim brakes. But here's the thing, For I sure. think um, when there's no demand or the, the demand is too small, they will just totally yeah, face yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, 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 let's yeah, be yeah. real, if you have a rim brake, your bike's already worth less. <laughs> no, it might be the other way around because there's no supply. So Dude, there might be a I think for, for vintage it. bikes, it will well, still have a market. Who cares but, about vintage? But for me, can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? You upset many vintage I know, collectors okay, you know, here. I you love know. old people. <laughs> Thank you. That's all. Then, then I think if I'm going to use rim brake, I'd rather use the you know the aluminum uh -huh. uh, brake line wheel set rather than a full carbon. Mm. Just to you know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The worst thing you can do more, on a oh, sorry. Yeah, it's, no, no. I mean, it's more practical. Yeah, the worst then thing you can spending thousand plus for a carbon, then it will eventually eat up the. Yeah, the I don't believe running rim brakes on a on a carbon wheel with carbon pads. I would say aluminium track pad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think it will be more. Yeah. But let's be real. Uh, ninety nine percent of us now would will we're all for the we're all gonna go disc. I mean, it's I aside from safety, right? Safety, we already know it's. Way safer, oh, especially here in yeah. Singapore on the on the yeah, East Coast yeah. ECP man. Yeah. There are so many kids, and so you need that breaking power. Yeah. Mm. And I would hate to crash my bike and and have to blame it on these stupid rim brakes. I How fast are you riding on the East PCN, man? Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but let's just say that I feel a lot better and and, and just personally mm. secure and, and safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Peace you know? of mind. Peace I, of a mind. peace of mind that I know when I push yeah, the thing. Yeah. No matter what the conditions are, yeah. I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rim brakes, yeah, cool. Light bike. Show your friends. Lift it up. I mean, and the only disadvantage is that, like, for my issue before where I had a leak, right? That's the only disadvantage. If you have a hydraulic. But leak, I think that's yeah. uh, very rare to occur. Very, yeah. very rare. The hoses oh, are tight. Very rare. I have not had yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had no issues with disc, and I'm gonna continue running disc until I die. Do you guys need to top up the fluid on the disc? Not yet. Not no, for me. No. Do you no have to do it? I don't uh, know. I mean, you have to <laughs> change the. The okay, here's the diff here's the trivia. I don't think anybody, uh, anybody. <laughs> I don't think most of the people know. Uh, Shimano and SRAM hydraulic brake fluids are different. Mm. Really? Yeah. Can it's I, the yeah. dot, the dot, the dot, or yeah, something, right? the SRAM uses the dot fluid, which is used by cars. Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a car hydraulic uh, fluid. Whether uh, whereas uh, Shimano uses a mineral oil. So what's better? 
Mineral oil is more environment friendly. The dot one is uh, abrasive. Uh, uh, abrasive is it called abrasive or something? So yeah, it, it, it can melt. Uh, it can remove paint. Mm. Is there any performance yeah. difference or corrosive? Same? Corrosive, corrosive. It's more. Any yeah. performance difference or they're just the same? Why are you all about performance? It's just fluid, you know. <laughs> Dude, you know different liquids can have different effects. No, it's the same. <laughs> okay, okay. It's so same, one is same. why don't SRAM use uh, the more you know environment friendly one? I don't know. I don't. Know. Maybe well, we should ring them up, lah. <laughs> hey, don't fight Shram, huh? <laughs> no, please. Press don't. Dorian Rider now, Shram. Shram, Shram, please. I love you, man. <laughs> Even though I've never written your group set, I don't know why, but I love you. Um, Shimano all the way. We're all wearing shades. I mean, people don't know why nah, we're wearing nah. shades. They, they are wearing shades because the lights are extremely blinding. Yeah. Are you hey, blinded by the lights? I don't yet? need shades, okay? Do you think I'm all about the looks? It's Axel Rose, man. <laughs> Obviously not. Now, I can't sing, but this is actually why I wear the bandana. Because I love. Guns and Roses. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, I think I think we got to end it here. I think he's a bit yeah. tired. Everyone's tired. Very. very Any anything last 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 wrap up? Anything else? Anything anyway. Average consumer, disc all the way. Yeah. Rim brake. Yeah, if you want to make the lightest bike in the world, yeah, yeah there yeah. you go. Can Close you, to your can, friends. Can you give Duran Rider a flying kiss so that he doesn't? Yo, Duran Rider, you know me. I'm you. You know me. I'm part of your family. <laughs> Bring it on, man. I know Such a we. I will win. <laughs> Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I, I will win, Julian Ryder. I'm a great, great guy, great debater. Bring it. That's all for me. Thank you. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Julian Ryder, please don't unsubscribe the day you subscribe to my channel. Dude, it was, uh, we can meet, but do not bring that fruit in front of me. <laughs> don't bring it in front of me. He built his bike under a mango tree, by the way. I've watched most of his videos, okay? Yeah. But I don't agree with him at all. <laughs> you okay. just apologize now, you oh, burn him again. It watch his latest video. He's showing us five different generations of, of Shimano group sets. And he's like, he's a sellout. An absolute sellout. I think you need to edit out. Edit out no, it's okay. I'll nah, leave, I'll it's leave to be fine. Right. not. Come on, let's be real now. Julian Wright ain't gonna watch. I mean, if he does, thank you. But uh, he's not gonna see this. <laughs> 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 I hope he does, by the way. Okay. Hey, dude, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> VIP member. He, he's, he's already subscribed. Just don't make sure he doesn't unsubscribe. Nice. Okay, guys, uh, <laughs> that is the end. Thank you guys for coming hey. on the show. Yeah. You love Duran Rider, right? I love him, but not the fruit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Do comment on the suggestions uh, and comment below what you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.